Hey everyone, Dr. Nussi here again, and today we got a short video. Um, numerous patient requests have been coming in about this particular subject, and the subject is, when you're on a diet or when you're trying to lose weight, how do you go out and eat at restaurants? What do you do? What's the strategy? And this is actually a video uh, that I did in vlog format a while back. It's called the um, Eating or Dieting on Vacation Challenge. I am going to link that video right up here if you wanna check that out. That's me actually going to a restaurant and showing you how to do it. I wanna explain a little bit more uh, our strategy or what I recommend to patients. So the first thing that you need to do when you're going to eat out, and usually you know this ahead of time, this is a plan, is you've gotta make the decision to stick with whatever eating diet pattern that you're uh, currently in ahead of time. So you wanna already know that I'm going into this and I'm gonna stay on the diet. If not, then just go off of the diet. I mean, you wanna do one or the other. So we always tell patients, make the decision ahead of time, know that you've got a strategy in place. So what we tell patients that they always wanna do is you want to tell the server in advance, as soon as you speak with them, one of the first words out of your mouth to the server is, I have dietary restrictions. I need X, Y, Z, whatever covered um, before you order any food. When a server hears dietary restrictions, most of them are trained now, at least at nicer restaurants, to immediately think, oh, if I give this person something and they've told me I can't give that to them, they might have a reaction and die because so many people have food allergies now. So when you say dietary restrictions to a patient, when you say dietary restrictions to a server at a restaurant, um, you will get their attention and they will probably pretty closely follow what you're asking them to do. Now, the, the problem with that is that it's uncomfortable. I mean, you, you don't wanna make a stink around other people. You don't wanna put the server in, a, in a, a position where he has to do more work and all this stuff. Listen, the reality is your health is worth it. If you're trying to lose weight for a specific reason, if you're uncomfortable with, in your own skin because of your weight, if you've got medical conditions that need to be addressed because of weight, your health is worth a little bit of inconvenience. So that's how I would look at it. Your health is worth it. Don't worry about uh, how other people are inconvenienced a little bit if you, um, if you have to do certain strategies. So um, in the most extreme example, what we have patients do is, and, and these are our real extreme uh, you know, weight loss, uh, aggressive weight loss programs, is we tell patients to go to a restaurant, order a, a meat vegetable combination, like for instance, it's chicken, and then you can get a potato or mashed potato or a vegetable plate or whatever the case may be. The meat has to not be marinated. It can be seasoned, but marinades are sugar. Avoid that at all costs. So no marinades on the steak or the chicken or whatever that you're getting. And then with the vegetable, it's steamed with no butter, no oil. And then we always have patients have fruit with every meal to get their carbohydrates, even though you're not getting refined carbohydrates, fruit and vegetables are carbohydrates. We don't do a no carb diet uh, in, in any of our programs. And basically that's it. If you order like that, it's a little inconvenient. The chef has to do a little bit more work and the, uh, the server might have to write a little bit more on the pad or whatever the case may be, but you're saving yourself a lot of grief uh, down the road. So again, that's the most extreme example. Just tell the server in advance whatever you feel that you need to do to be able to stay on the plan. And again, if you're not wanting to stay on the plan ahead of time, just, just don't. Uh, there's no reason to be kind of half in and half out. Make the decision ahead of time, yes, I wanna stay on, or no, I don't, and then just go with that decision. So again, just a, a short little video um, for you today. I hope this is helpful. If it was, please hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with anybody that you think might be struggling with uh, their weight. And I would encourage you to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We put a new video out every week. And until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will catch you in the next one.